All right, folks, I want to dive into this and note that this video, for the most part, is an opinion. It does contain a slight rumor. I don't even know if we call it a rumor. It, it, it is unverifiable stuff, but uh, it doesn't. It, it conflicts a little bit with the 2025 narrative that's being built for Nintendo Switch 2, but that's not really the point of this video. I was already debating on making this video yesterday, and it's because... The idea that Nintendo Switch 2 isn't going to come till 2025 isn't like a horrendous thing. Like, let's say Nintendo Switch 2 was intended to come out this October or November, but now instead it's coming out in February or March of 2025. Realistically, you're looking at anywhere from a three to four month delay, and that's not the end of the world. And honestly, if the system had already been announced, maybe some of this worry, concern, backlash, fear, anger might not really matter. I, I, I think a lot of the angst out there really just stems from being in the dark, right? We, we have all these insiders, we have all these reporters and journalists telling us things, but Nintendo themselves has been radio silent on pretty much everything, whether it's the Nintendo Direct or whether it has to do with actual games coming later this year, right? They've talked about their current slate, like upcoming stuff like Princess Peach Showtime, Mario vs. Donkey Kong that recently came out, but really quiet on many, many fronts. And look, we presume we're going to get a Pokemon game announcement at the end of this month, but that's an assumption. It's not direct knowledge, right? So it, it, it just sort of sits here where because things have been so quiet from Nintendo, I kind of still hope that they announce the system in March. I know that might seem crazy because that potentially is a year away from the system coming out, but at least acknowledging the system, teasing the system, not pretending that it's not coming, like it just giving us fans, just us gamers, the ability to understand that Nintendo actually has a plan moving forward and we don't have to rely on leakers and insiders would certainly to me just be a sigh of relief. So even if it isn't coming out till the end of next fiscal year, which ends in March of 2025, then I personally can be a bit more okay with the prospect of it arriving then. But I'm also not fully on this train that Nintendo is actually pushing this thing out till 2025, despite the reports and despite the rumors. And look, people always act like I put so much stock into rumors and leaks that I don't ever have any original thoughts for myself. Well, consider this an original thought. I still have some faith, some belief Nintendo Switch 2 could come out this year, maybe for the holiday season. That belief may turn out to be unfounded in some regard, but there is at least some hope because while there definitely seem to be, again, rumored to be, developers out there that have received some sort of memo from Nintendo, maybe all of them haven't received this memo. And I do wonder if the memo is actually telling developers when the system is going to launch or if the memo is specifically saying, hey, uh, not you know, this isn't when the system is going to launch, but this is when we want your games ready for the system. I actually want to know what the memo is. I, I think the memo, if we had it and, and someone leaked it, it would actually be much more clarifying. Like, is Nintendo straight up just telling these developers, hey, we're not launching Switch 2 until at least March of 2025? Or are they just telling developers, have your games ready for the launch window of the uh, system in March of 2025. Because remember, Nintendo considers the launch window sometimes to be like six months long. Well, we have this other insider, uh, this other, I, I, let's just call him a, a, a rumor person. Uh, they've been right on, well, pretty much two major things in the past uh, and haven't technically been wrong on anything yet. Uh, we're talking about Nash Weedle just for a brief moment because he, he said something very interesting. Again, this isn't the purpose of this video. It's just to show that maybe not all of the people out there dropping rumors agree with everything. So first off, he puts out this tweet and he says, I have been able to investigate so far on the topic of the 2025 launch of Switch 2. The alleged leak does not come from Nintendo to hunt down insiders, as has been said. So basically what he's saying is, he must have heard from some developers that, yes, they did get this memo, and Nintendo isn't intentionally throwing this out there to destroy insiders and hunt down leakers, right? Uh, this is something that was actually sent out to some third-party developers. 
But he also says, for now, two developers have confirmed to him that they have not received internal communication for Switch 2 in 2025. Now, I find this to be fascinating because if there was supposed to be this, you know, universal acceptance from all third parties that it is going to come out in 2025, you figure Nintendo would send this memo out to every single person who has a dev kit. I find it fascinating that they sent it to some, but not others. Now, again, I don't know what the balancing act is here, and I don't know what that memo says if it does exist, but it, it leads me to believe that maybe there is a chance it's still coming out in 2024, and they just want specific places to maybe uh, just be prepared in a different way. Let me, let me explain this a little bit. Nintendo Switch was technically not a universal worldwide launch. In fact, the official launch for Switch, I don't think even happened in Brazil until 2020. And our very first source on these 2025 rumors came from a reporter out of, well, Brazil. Quite interesting to consider that Nintendo Switch 2 will probably not launch there this year because, again, Switch didn't launch in Brazil until 2020. So Nintendo's likely to ride Switch in that territory much longer. Now, I don't think that's necessarily true for, say, like the UK, Germany, or France, or because a lot of like, these sources, a lot of these reporters are actually from Europe and the UK. So I, I don't think Nintendo is going to suddenly have like a massive delayed launch there, but it is possible because we're not hearing this uh, supposedly, at, at least reportedly, from Japanese developers. We also aren't necessarily hearing this from like EA or you know any sort of big Western studio, from what we can tell. All these reporters are located in areas that are overseas, but not in Japan and not here in the United States. Now, Nate the Hate is one exception because I believe he does live here in the United States, and we have no idea who his sources are. Maybe his sources are Japanese developers. Maybe their sources at Activision or maybe their sources at Ubisoft who is overseas. So I you know, like, I don't know, right? I don't know where these guys have their sources, but I do find it at least personally fascinating that no major United States based journalist website has added corroboration. Let me explain. IGN has not been able to corroborate this story. They just report on it, right? They put it out there. Uh, other outlets, you know, GameSpot, the second largest video game outlet here, hasn't put anything out there about being able to corroborate it. Kotaku, who literally doesn't care about who they, whose fe feathers they ruffle when it comes to leaking things, has not been able to corroborate the story. Polygon has not been able to corroborate the story. All the corroborations have been from overseas outlets. I do find that just to be notable. Then on top of all of this... The only United States outlet that anyone wants to put any stock in here is Bloomberg because Bloomberg has now officially corroborated this story. But the person who corroborated it is Takahashi Machizuka. And Takahashi Machizuka, he has actually like gotten this stuff from overseas. Almost all of his sources are overseas. He always like is putting manufacturing info out there or... Uh, you know, obviously posting these in foreign languages such as Japanese. So all of his sources are overseas as well from what we can tell based on things we have heard him report on in the past when it comes to Nintendo. So while Bloomberg has a report and Bloomberg is obviously, you know, a reputable place that I believe their headquarters are here in the United States. The actual reporter making the report isn't somebody that reports locally. They report domestically. So it kind of seems weird to me that we don't have a United States-based corroboration on this when United States is Nintendo's biggest market. And then obviously Nash Weedle, whether you believe him or not, again, he's just another person that puts rumors out there and seems to be questionable in that he's only gotten a couple things right, but he hasn't gotten anything wrong. Uh, it, it's interesting to me to think about how he at least tossed out there that the possibility that not all developers have actually gotten this memo, uh, which could mean that Nintendo does still intend to launch it this year. It depends on what that memo says. If the memo is literally saying, hey, we're not launching the system till 2025, okay, 
that's pretty direct. But if the memo is just have your games ready by the end of the current fiscal year in uh, the first quarter of 2025, that doesn't necessarily mean anything if Nintendo's trying to stagger releases and not have such a front-loaded third-party uh, output. Like, look, if every developer is extremely interested in Switch 2, it doesn't mean Nintendo wants the market flooded with 100, 200, 300 games in that first couple of months. What you have to remember for Nintendo is... One of the things they've learned from the past is you can't just flood the market with a bunch of games because, look, one, the consumer base is already going to be small. Two, a lot of these games, if they all come at launch, are just going to flop, right? We need to be realistic here. If all of the big AAA third-party games just drop at launch, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a big problem because... There's going to be a very small install base. The games are likely not going to sell very well because of that. And in turn, they might just be you know, inclined not to make more games for the platform. Nintendo might be wanting them to wait a little bit so they can get through the holiday rush, have six, seven, eight, ten million 10 million units out there, and then have some of these companies drop their games where there might be a significant audience you know, thirsty for more content, especially if Nintendo themselves may not have a major March 2025 game because they, you know, they, they, they did something in October, they did something in November, they hit, hit it hard in January, and then they're like, hey, let's let third parties have a couple months and then we'll come back strong in April. So I, I think this is one of these things where I'm just not willing to let go of 2024, and the largest reason is because the one person, the, the one company we need to hear from is Nintendo themselves. Uh, up until this point, everything about Switch 2 outside of the NVIDIA leak, that was a legitimate leak that NVIDIA confirmed themselves, has been a rumor. So it even coming out this year, it being announced next month, was a rumor. Uh, but now the rumors shift and now it's 2025. Look, I just want to hear Nintendo say it. I want Nintendo to come out and tell me what's going on. So at this point, it's not that we won't cover more Nintendo Switch rumors and reports as they come in. Of course, we're going to do that because I'm very fascinated in this entire situation. And I, uh, you know, a lot of this is potential information, not actual information, but potential, right? Could be true, probably false. Who knows? I just want to throw out there that I'm not giving up on 2024 because Nintendo hasn't given me a reason to give up on it. We still don't have like this killer slate of games yet. That could change with the next Nintendo Direct, but right now we don't have like a massive slate of games. And on top of that, the Switch sales are declining. And uh, Furukawa didn't even totally shut down next fiscal year. You got to remember, people talk about how like Furukawa told us. That's not exactly what Furukawa's word said. He said Switch is their lead platform heading into 2024 and that he would talk about the next fiscal year at the next financial briefing, which is in May. So yeah, and if the next system's coming out by the end of the fiscal year, he would probably have to let investors know. That's one thing that I, I find fascinating about this, or people who think this system isn't going to even be acknowledged by Nintendo until, you know, way later this year, if not 2025, is that if it does, let, let's presume that these reports about 2025 end of fiscal year is true, Nintendo has to let investors know at their very first financial briefing that kicks off the next uh, fiscal year, which happens in May, investors need to know what the projections are for revenue and sales, and they would have to include in that projection the next platform. So this is why I, I, I don't entirely rule out, even if it is 2025, that Nintendo still might reveal it next month. Because if the plan is still to come out next fiscal year, they're going to have to say something, right? Even if it's a code name, right? They, they have to say something, they have to at least say, our intent is to release our next platform by the end of the current fiscal year. Even if that's all they say, they have to say something. So it, it, it is possible they still plan to reveal it when they do, and they want a year of hype buildup, or it's still coming out in 2024. I'm very curious on your guys' thoughts on this, of course. Maybe we'll drop a poll in the community section as well, asking people, hey, when do you think it's coming out? Hopefully people don't get mad about that. Look, we're just having conversations here because... Hopefully we're shifting to games, right? Uh, we just don't have a lot of games to talk about. So hopefully we shift to games in this upcoming week with hopefully a direct. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.